Okay, so right now I'm doing some cross-country scrambling to get around the fire closure areas. Um, here I have a rock outcrop that sort of looks very crumbly. If you look in a little bit, you'll see that it's actually a granite. It's got, you know, pink and white and, and, and gray stuff in there. It's all chewed up and shattered. It's probably so shattered because we're, we're just at the valley away from the San Andreas Fault. So there's going to be lots of little um, substrands of the uh, San Andreas Fault running through here and chewing up the rock into, into little bits. Now, why do we care about this random granite? Well, it happens to be related to uh, my research that I do um, in geology. And so uh, this granite turned out to be 77 million years old. Uh, I have a sample from just on the other side of the hill to the north of here. Um, and so I personally collected the sample, ground it up, um, took out zircon grains, um, now the nut took them to a secondary ion microprobe, the shrimp at Stanford University, and uh, measured the, the ratios of, uh, iron, uh, of uranium and lead isotopes. And yeah, 77 million years. So why is that interesting? Well, um, there are a lot of granites throughout California, and most of them are related to um, subduction, uh, arc magnetism. So there used to be a subduction zone where oceanic crust was being uh, pushed down underneath uh, the continent um, throughout the Mesozoic era, the time of the dinosaurs, from like 250 uh, million years to about 25 million years. Now, for various reasons, um, the volcanoes related to that in California um, largely stopped at about 85 million years, most places. If you go to the Sierra Nevada mountains, you know, like Yosemite National Park, or you go to the Peninsula Range Mountains, like um, uh, between San Diego and El Centro, um, there in those areas you'll find granites that span an age uh, throughout the Mesozoic, and the youngest thing is around 85 million years old or so. Um, and the general story is that um, we had a flattening uh, subduction angle of that, of that uh, subducting oceanic plate got to too shallow of an angle, and it wasn't able to subduct the, uh, it wasn't able to have enough uh, hot mantle material um, get above that, that slab when it was too shallow. Uh, and without that hot mantle, it was unable to be melting to make those granites. Um, the general idea is that the subducting slab needs to get to about 150 kilometers depth to have enough space above it for the hot mantle to get in and cause melting. Now, so 77 million years, if that's our age of granites here in the uh, Mojave, um, is a problem because not only are we supposed to be having this flat slab coming in to shut off the magnetism at 85 million years, but the Mojave is actually ground zero of where it's supposed to be the flattest. Um, in the Mojave area, there are these schists, known by various names, the Plona schist, Rand schist, Oracopia schist, um, Chocolate Mountain schist, I could go on. Um, but these schists are all thought to be um, basically a bunch of sediment that got smashed down the subduction trench when there was this big thickened piece of oceanic crust, or oceanic plateau we'll call it, that didn't really want to subduct, and instead of going down nicely, it smashed all this stuff down, it became the schist, and it also wiped out the bottom of the continental crust and basically smashed all the schist in there, um, such that today uh, there's only a thin remnant of the original uh, granite crust, and it's mostly just schist. Now the problem with that is that, again, that's supposed to be happening right here in the Mojave, um, and how can you be shoving schist in uh, right under the roots of, of, the, of the volcanoes if you're still also producing magma at the same time? Um, and there really is a problem because the age of the schist is basically the same as the age of the granite. So at 77 million years old, there are um, zircon crystals in the schist of the same age that have thought to have been zircons that eroded off of the land um, for various reasons I won't go into right now. Uh, so that means the schist is, is really is the same age as the granites here um, in this part of the Mojave. Uh, and okay, so you people who are really familiar with these schists might say, well, but in the Polona schist, really the youngest zircons are, are more like 70 million years. So you've got a 7 million year time frame to work with that. The problem is the Polona schist in particular is south of the San Andreas Fault 
and we're north of the San Andreas Fault. So if you undo that motion, the Plona schist is actually somewhere else and it's not really what we need to worry about. We need to worry about the one of the other schists, like the Rand schist or the schist of Portal Ridge. And those do have zircons um, that are the same age as these granites, basically. Um, so it becomes a real problem for geologists who want to invoke this um, flat slab subduction, which in, is also um, uh, in this story is also thought to be what pushed up the Rocky Mountains way over in Colorado, Wyoming, etc. That the same oceanic plateau they didn't want to subduct was dragging along the bottom of the continent all the way inland to Colorado, Wyoming, South Dakota, pushing up the Rockies basically. Um, but again, Mojave, that makes a problem. So, what do I think the resolution is? Well, uh, I think that maybe you can just thread the needle and just squeeze it in. You know, some of the more recent studies suggest the plateau might not have been all that wide. Maybe you could just squeeze it in under the very southern edge of the Sierra Nevada, uh, like close to the um, where the grapevine goes uh, over the so sort of the southern Tachabi Mountains. Um, but it's, it's very narrow. Some, you know, one bit of relief you get is some of these rocks here, the, like right here, um, and in Pear Blossom, they're also 77 million year old, million year old granites. These, you can uh, move them back a little bit, about maybe 60 kilometers back to the west uh, on some other strands of the San Andreas Fault, like the Cajon Valley Fault, probably has 60 kilometers of, of slip on it. So maybe if you slide those back, there's there's just enough room you could you could thread a narrow oceanic plateau um, through the Mojave and still make granite. So the granites are all off to the just a little bit east of the oceanic plateau, and the oceanic plateau is just a little bit more to the west. But I don't know. Uh, it's an area of active research. So anyway, that probably went into far too much detail for the average viewer here, but I just wanted to let you know a little bit about what my research is, just since I'm walking through it right now. Okay, well, now I need to just finish walking down through this uh, pretty um, area with Joshua trees. I think there's a road up here at some point that I can take.